This is I Don't Need No Doctor from Humble Pie. CBT guitar lesson for Timmy. What's up, Timmy? Standard tuning for this. Uh, we're still trying to decide Frampton or Marriott on guitar. I'm not sure. But I really like some of these riffs that are being used in here. Um, it's not super clear, you know, it's live. This is, uh, I don't, yeah, this is um, Rockin' the Fillmore, is what this is from. Um, but, I can hear it enough to get it for you. So, um, 243 is where we come in, 7G. What you want to do, you know a, a chunk of these riffs, Tim, already, so, uh, but there's a few I know you don't. Then I'll tell you, they're coming up pretty quick. 7G bend, and then 5B. It's a little Chuck Berry thing. And then go 5BE. This is quicker, down up, and then back down to 5B, down. So, what's happening is that final down, you're going to hammer to 8. When you hammer to 8, continue the riff with down up on this uh, high E string, 5-7. Now this is the fastest riff of the bunch here. Um, 8 pull 5, 7 pull 5. And then the next little riff, 8B, 5E, 8B, pull 5. And that's going to be down, up, down, pull. It's a good subgroup, just that. And then another upstroke on 5B. Let's play it up to there. Then 7, pull 5G to 7D. So we have... 7 pull 5 G and D with the 7 D vibrato rest. That's another good subgroup. So. Five seven seven on the G, bend, release, pull off to 5. 7 pull 5. And I love this phrase right here. You'll go, after you do the, this is our 7D, you're going to go 5, 4G, 7D, 4G, 5D, 7A, these are all downs, 5D, 4G, 7D. So it's an E minor arpeggio that he's playing around in, which is, you know, doing that, all those types of notes. So. Remember, it slows down on the last four notes. Up, down, 5, 7, G, D. And then 7, pull 5, G. And this is really quick, man. I would go, there's a few ways. I would go and then just kind of bar that down and pull off. Or you can go use the middle up there and then third for this. But I'm used to doing kind of the shift thing. Then you'll go 7D, down, up, 5G, 7D, up, down, up. That's that run. So we had... Two fifty one, five seven G, seven slide nine, eight B, seven E, eight seven B E. So it's a back and forth toggle type thing. Then he does this. It's interesting. It's almost like a sweep. Um, the way he attacks it, nine eight seven G B and E. That's just an E minor triad. He does it three times. 
But don't go. Keep those all separated there. And then this last phrase, 10, 8, 7. And then I put alternate picking for this middle part, but he, I have a feeling he's down picking it just quicker. And it'll be, so we have 8, 10, 8, 7, 8, 7. And then 10, 7, B, E. 10, 8 on the uh, B. Down, up, mute on the B. Sounds like he kind of makes a little mistake, but it, it winds up going to 7B, and then 7G, and then 777 on the B slide. So it's... See, that's just a light pressure. You gotta be careful that you don't go and get a harmonic or something. You just go for a mute. You can put all put three fingers down. Two. If you want, you know, but don't put pressure, just barely touch it. Um see. So that's where I started the alternate, but like I said, he's just playing faster, know that. Right here. Uh, see. And that's it. So a lot of cool runs. Um, That's a whole solo kind of slowed down. But anyways, have fun with it. Um, I like how your ear... You picked this solo, man, to learn for a CBT, and I get it. There's some really, really uh, a couple particular phrases that are just different, aren't typical. There are some stuff he'll start that's going to be typical, like... And then he takes it somewhere else, you know? I don't know. Really, really cool. All right, dude. Talk to you soon.